Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. Currently we are in the second module of our deep learning course and in the second module we are discussing about mathematics for deep learning. In today's video, let's understand what is meant by statistics and what is the importance of statistics when it comes to deep learning. So this will be the agenda for today's video and let's get started. So first let's try to understand what is meant by statistics. So statistics is a science of collecting, analyzing and interpreting data. It provides tools to understand patterns, trends and relationships within data. So this is what a basic definition of statistics is. So it's all about collecting the data, analyzing it and interpreting it. So when it comes to collecting, so let's say that you are doing a scientific experiment and you would need some data for that. So it can be related to a healthcare or research that you're doing. So there are a lot of rules on how you can choose the data for this. So there will be a population and there are several sampling methods that you can use in order to have a proper data. So again, this varies to experiment by experiment and, and uh, choosing a proper sampling techniques and proper data collection technique is key and statistics, statistics kinds of provides us with some rules for that. And then we have analysis part. So we have descriptive statistics that helps us to understand the data better and analyze the data in a good way and how you can interpret this data. So what are all the key insights that we can get from this data? So all this we can do with a lot of concepts and tools that statistics provides us. And it also helps to understand the patterns, trends and relationships. And when it comes to machine learning, data science or deep learning, we know that data plays a crucial role. And and even before going to the modeling part, we need to understand what's basically present in the data and the nature of the data so that we can make better decisions on what's the model that you're going to use, what's the evaluation metric that you're going to use. So all these understanding of data lets you build a better machine learning and deep learning model. So it's it's a very critical concept. So statistics is a critical concept in let's say machine learning, data science and deep learning. So in all these uh, fields. So now let's try to understand how this is exactly used. So again, as I said, it's, it's a very crucial part in data understanding. So uh, we call this descriptive statistics where it's going to describe the data. So we have several measures such as, uh, you know, mean, median, mode, etc. And then we have several distributions like uniform distribution, the uh, you know, natural distribution and, and skewed distribution and so on. So that's going to give you insight on how a particular variable is uh, distributed and how you need to process this. So it's very key in understanding the data. And then we have data pre-processing techniques, right? So usually uh, before training a machine learning or a deep learning model, we would scale the data like normalization or standardization. And, and the key parameter that we need to consider for these scaling are basically uh, the mean uh, median etc so we would scale the values based on this right so in data processing we also use this metrics not directly but indirectly these measures are basically used so that's like one aspect that you can think about and then we have feature engineering so we have uh, statistical concepts like this uh, covariance and then we have correlation matrices correlation coefficients etc so this helps you to understand uh, the relationship between different variables and how you can better engineer the features that you can feed to the model later so that is like another uh, example that we can think about and then we have this we know that probability is kind of a tightly linked field with the statistics and even in several machine learning and the deep learning models we often deal with this probability so when there is an uncertainty we use several statistical tools and probability uh, methods in order to kind of measure this uncertainty and kind of give this value here so if you remember we kind of uh, built some deep learning models as well where it tries to predict not some yes or no answers but it tries to give you the probability of what that output is so this uncertainty is kind of a factor that we need to deal with and statistics and probability is going to help with that and then we have evaluation metrics so all the evaluation metrics that we see accuracy score or you, it can be like this uh, AUC and, and other scores that we usually deal with so all these have their roots in statistics so, so all these are basically statistical measures so we kind of use this in order to see how good a particular model is so that is like one such example and then we have uh, something called as regularization so we would build these models but we want to make sure that the model works best not only in the training example but also in the test examples and in the real life data so there are uh, topics like uh, bias variance trade off uh, you know l1 regularization l2 regularization we call this as lasso and reg uh, regularization kind of these things right so all these are kind of uh, again are based on statistical concepts and these uh, tools are kind of these you know concept is going to help us to build a model what we call as 
generalization so we are going to generalize this model not to work only on the training data set but also on the real world data sets so understanding these key concepts of let's say descriptive statistics which is going to help you with understand the data so data processing feature engineering the symmetrics regularization again all these topics have their roots in statistics even if you think about models like let's say uh, the clustering models so we have this db scan k means clustering uh, you know bias theorem so all these have their roots in statistics so we may say that you know these are ml models but again as i said it, it's nothing but there are a lot of statistics in the wood so it's it's very important for us to you know learn statistics so that we can understand how these models is going to work and also understand the data in a better way so that we can make better decisions on what's the model that we are going to use and what's the approach overall we are going to take with that particular data so i hope everyone kind of gets a high level overview with this and uh, in the upcoming videos we will dive deeper into this individual topics such as uh, uh, you know descriptive statistics and uh, the feature engineering part of correlation uh, regularization topics so all this we will discuss in detail when it comes to statistics okay so that is all from my side for this video i'll see you in the next upload thanks for watching